guys, just a quick one. I want to let you know our next LLF Drive Day is coming up in just a few weeks and I can confirm we're heading to Wales. Yes, after seeing how much everyone enjoyed the first Drive Day, I decided we had to do it again. So this time we're going deep into the Wales countryside and high into the mountains. Our route will involve a whole day of driving some of the best A roads, switchbacks and mountain passes Wales has to offer. And those of you who came along on the Isle of Wight drive day will already know what to expect. Only this time, the routes are longer, the bends are sharper and the scenery is even greater. We have limited spaces available for the Wales drive day, so if you're interested in taking part, please make sure you're an LLF member. Then head over to llfcar.com forward slash drive day for the full details where you can register for the chance to secure one of the final tickets. Trust me, this is going to be a truly epic day and I'll hopefully meet you guys in the mountains. How are we doing, man? Hi, uh, Ricky. You nice okay? to meet you. Yeah, nice Thanks to for the invite. Thanks for having me on your channel. No, no, I appreciate it, man. Iconic car, yeah, M635 right. CSI, is it? Always been a little bit confused because there was the M6, right? That was yeah. for the American market, The Americans, right? um, they claim the name M6 and yeah. uh, over here, Europe, it was uh, M635 CSI. I mean, like, would we prefer the M6 name, didn't he? <laughs> to be honest, I would. Yeah. That's why I've got on the front, it says um, M6 badge. That's actually yeah. from a US car. Okay. So I bought that right, brand right. new, but um, yeah, it never came with the M6 badge. I think that's one of the best mods I did to the car. Do you even know why there's a difference? Obviously, I know there's like a different engine yeah. in the American one, but what was I the... think it was um, to do with like emissions and stuff like that. Yeah. It was detuned as well, so it didn't have enough, well, as much power. Yeah. Uh, where are we right now? So we're in Chatham, Kent, just on, on the pier. Okay. Sense why it's very windy, very yeah, cold. Yeah, yeah, sorry guys, hopefully you can hear us correctly. So um, let's go into this car then. So you're actually course, Sarush's man. friend, the guy yeah, right. with the uh, M5 that I filmed as well. Yeah, right. You're young as well, weren't you? 22 yeah, years that's old. Right. 22. This is your car. Yeah, Insane. Me, and, um, me and my dad, we uh, collect these cars. Okay. So I've um, got a big collection of 80s, 90s, Beamers, stuff mm -hmm. like that. And you've got so, two of these, right? Yeah, that's right. Jeez. Two E24 M635 CSIs. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, so, one black, one white. So do you want to go over a bit of the spec mm -hmm. of this car for people that are unaware? Yeah, so um, the engine from this is actually from the M M1 car, so it's an right. M88 engine. Okay. Um, straight from there, also shared with the E28 M5. Yes. So um, one of the most known engines, one of the best engines, and um, yeah. Right, and they're producing, what is it, 282 uh, horsepower? Yeah, that's right, 282 or 286. I think it's 286 yeah. PS. Yeah. Um, okay. And it's a five-speed manual, yeah, comes with a limited right. slip differential. Mm -hmm. All of uh, them manual, yeah. All manual, yeah. That's right, all, so there's 500 and 24 of them built, uh, yeah. right-hand drive, mm -hmm. worldwide, um, about 4,800 or so, somewhere near there. Yeah, 4,088 I was reading, mm -hmm. and uh, what is it, about 1,700 uh, went to the went to North America, yeah, and then right. um, you're saying there was around 500 and something? Yeah, 524 right-hand drive cars, okay. and um, this is number 508, and the last one in this colour. Okay. So uh, quite a special one, it's That's in Diamond Schwartz. Right, so, um, beautiful yeah. colour. Cheers, man. And, and you say this is a Highline as well, so it's yeah, one of the Highline. later, last Yeah, one versions. of the last ones made. Yeah, so they're around 1,500 kilos. Uh, so what's it like to own them? What's it like to drive around? You obviously, you own an M6 as well, don't yeah, you? Yeah, so, a brand new one. Brand but, new. Um, you know, it's, I love classic cars. Mm. And done, last year, I've done about 4,000 miles in it. 4,000 miles? Taking all the shows all over the country, yeah. um, NEC, Goodwood, anywhere. Yeah. Drive it everywhere, love it. Serious it's attention, proper, I you get it It's as reliable, well. yeah. it always starts, um, mm -hmm. yeah, never let me down. Yeah. Love it. And yeah, obviously, as you said, serious attention on the car. Serious attention, yeah, yeah. man. Honestly, like, such an iconic car. It's the original shark nose, isn't it? This is yeah. where it all started, man. That's it really right. does look like a shark, doesn't it? <laughs> man, guys, look Definitely. at that. Does that not look amazing on camera right now? Hoping I've got some nice cinematics for you guys as well. And uh, so this being uh, a Highline, did you say there's like different bumpers to like yeah, say, yeah, yeah. well sorry, so the American versions Americans, are a bit different, they had, they? Um, these bumpers, but they were called the diving boards. So they came the out- The diving um, boards, yeah. yeah. It wasn't as nice, came out a lot more, same on the front and the rear. Yeah. Um, and then obviously the non-Highline ones, so from 87 to 84, I think they were just called like the chrome bumpers or chromies or something. Okay, so this um, is the nicer version, yeah? yeah. Got side skirts as well. Yeah. This um, is also a shadow line as well. So you see all this trim yeah. um, everywhere. It's all blacked out. Okay. No chrome anywhere on the car. So, I yeah. can't believe how nice this car looks. It's unreal, <laughs> isn't it? I suppose Jeez, it's man. obviously a clean example, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, these BBS bad. wheels, they're not standard, but they did come with a set of BBS, yeah, right? So they came factory? with 15-inch um, uh, BBS metric alloys. Okay. Um, they run like Michelin TRX tires. Right. And there were a lot back in the day, and still a lot now. Mm. So um, 
I think they cost about 300 or 320 pound a tire wow handled like you know it wasn't very good and um, people just replaced them put on the BBS uh, RC 090s what are these yeah. from then um, I think from an E39 so they're from staggered okay. so yes 8J front 9J rear yeah so yeah yeah I used to love these wheels one of my favorites yeah, yeah same man and you're running a Michelin Pilot Sport 4s on the front yeah, as well yeah that's right nice. yeah and uh, so you've got a sunroof. It's pretty well specced, isn't it? Yeah, it's got AC, sunroof, everything. <laughs> yeah. So it's nice to drive around, comfortable. Yeah, love it, man. Fast. I mean, reasonably fast. Yeah, for, relatively for, for 89. Mm. Not driven anything faster than this. <laughs> yeah. And um, the exhaust just looks amazing as well, doesn't it? Look at that. Man, I'm lucky the lighting on my camera right now. Guys, look at this rear interior, man. Like, it's like brand new in here. And what is something like this worth now? Um, so this one um, in particular is worth about 60 grand. 60 grand, yeah. yeah. It had four engine rebuild, everything done to it. Very rare car. So, right. Previous yeah. owner? Previous owner. Engine build? Yeah, that's right. So he, um, fortunately for me, did the engine rebuild and sold it to me. And uh, I had the warranty on the engine. Wow. Uh, what would this something like this have cost? Uh, back in 80s, well, sorry, it's 89, I wasn't it? I think about 35, 40,000 pounds brand new. 35, 45,000. So, yeah, they've um, held their prices and uh, mm. yeah, gone up. I mean, 2015, there was a car that sold for 100 grand. Man. Done about 15,000 miles. Very, very nice car. Yeah, and what's this sitting on miles wise? Uh, 150,000. 150? That's wow. right. And the Still engine rebuild six... was about 4,000 miles ago. Okay. You know what, we better jump out because I'm not sure if we can even, we're even capturing yeah, any sound right now, but we'll continue the convo in the car, yeah? Good. Yeah, let's do it. So mid. Yes, man. What are we saying, bro? Let All me get my hat bro. off, man. Nice and warm now. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Back in the warm. Guys, absolutely freezing. Yeah. I'm praying that the mics even caught us. Yeah, man. Definitely. <laughs> that was some serious wind, didn't man, it? I was shivering. <laughs> this <laughs> does not feel 40 years old. No, it's not 40. It's 30, 30, 30, 30 years old. Yeah, 30 years old. Yeah, this does not feel 30 years old. I can't even believe. Look, leather wrapped dash. This is. This feels so modern. Headlining, door cards, everywhere, man. You don't get this in the modern cars. I can't even express how sick this cabin is. Does not feel its age one bit. Oh yeah, come on. <laughs> 3.5 litres, so we've got the M1 engine up front. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> how sick is that, guys? So the M1 was the first car made by the M division. So obviously yes, normally right. like these cars are based on, you know, like a, mm like the 3 Series diesels and yeah, yeah, like yeah. the M1 was built by the M, it's a full on M car, do you know yeah. what I mean? Shares I'm praying like a that lot they, of parts as well, so you know, with this, yeah. tail lights exactly the same, yeah. um, a lot of other parts, mm. but yeah. And this car actually was in the racing series, not the M, I think mm. it was the 635. Yeah, it was winning a lot of, you know, championships yeah, it won and stuff a lot, back yeah. in the day before the E30 was. The interior is actually unbelievable. It is so clean, but more than it being clean, it's just, Imagine being in this 30 all, years um, ago. Original, exactly. That's why I say, you know, it's all original as well. Been recolonized, but um, not reupholstered or anything like that. Normally when you get into the older cars, they feel a bit gappy and like, mm. it's almost like you're riding on a bus, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. this is all packed and Definitely. puffy and yeah. it this feels cozy, doesn't ago, it? Proper luxurious, you know. Wow. It's got rear sun, uh, rear sun blind. Um, rear sun blind, yeah, yeah. That's right. Those rear seats, are, I reckon they're the best BMW seats I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not even you know, exaggerating. Yeah. So I'm not exaggerating. The day, the day I went to go buy this, there was um, four of us, mm. five including the driver. We all got in this car for the test drive. So there's three people in the back. Yeah. <laughs> Never had three people in the back again. They went in with this car. You know that. Mm. I know this gearbox is a little different to the standard gearbox as well. Mm. Uh, what That's I was right. reading. It's like a, a reinforced five-speed. Yeah, man. Wow. I like it's the grey as know, well. What's the colour of the uh, Silver grey um, Nappa leather. Okay. So, yeah, it's nice. It's got electric headrests, everything, man. Right. Crazy. Um, electric uh, leg adjust as well, or mm -hmm. whatever it's called. You, got, you don't get that in the modern cars. No. Nah, <laughs> you have to nah. pull it out yourself. Yeah, electric so, um, windows. I noticed you've got a little gauge down there as well. Yeah, like, um, a little air-to-fuel ratio. 
Okay. So, you know, that was something the um, owner did beforehand. Right. And you're saying yeah. these are around 35 uh, grand when new. What's this uh, panel over here? So that's the check control. A lot of the um, 80s, 90s Beamers, they had this. Yeah. You just sort of press it and it tells you what's good, what's not. But it feels like uh, you're in a you know jet fighter or something like that. Yeah, you guys have been complaining about the chest cam, so I've just thought I'll just hold it in my hand and just record random bits in the car. <laughs> But the previous owner had uh, uh, an engine build, yeah, which cost 15 engine grand. Yeah, from Classic Heroes. Yeah. Cost 15 grand. Sounds, Sounds so, so nice, man. Yeah, yeah, honestly. When you get above Straight like six. three and a half thousand, same yeah. as their E34 M5, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Zarush's one. It opens up. See, with the around. M5, like I said, that sounds too sick, isn't it? <laughs> man, you as well, man. Yeah. And also, you've got upgraded sound system in there as well. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, the previous owner, he spent, um, I think it was three grand as well. Yeah. Full new system, subwoofer, everything, DAB, yeah. Bluetooth. So, literally, you can drive this as a daily driver, which is what I do sometimes. You know, I prefer it, just drive 100%. it here and there. The only thing I hate about this car is the mirrors. There's no visibility whatsoever. Okay. Not adjustable? No, they are. No, electric. well, you can't see nothing. Okay. So, you know, when I'm why, driving. Why can't I see nothing? Bro, it's tiny. You can't see right. anything. So, when I'm merging onto a motorway, I'm literally mm. turning my head. But can't, they're not adjustable to your position, you mean? Or? You can, but mm. you just can't see. Like, it's not wide enough. Right. So, yeah. I'm comparing this to the, um, to the M5. Yeah. As I say, like, this feels way more packed out inside. Mm. I've probably said it too many times now, but. As long as you've got an interior that is clean, mm -hmm. it's so livable. Definitely. Like I was always under the, the mindset that I couldn't have an old car. Important parts of the car, isn't it? Very important. Because you know you're not looking at the outside all the time. You're spending all your time in it. Yeah, but not so. even just that. Just like as I say, like me, I've always been the type. Like if I'm gonna have a daily driver, I've always thought it needed to be modern. Yeah. <laughs> and it's sick. It's got LSD as well, man. Yeah, I always thought I had to have a modern car, but until some of these owners start coming on the channel mm -hmm. with these really mint old school examples, mm -hmm. uh, that's when I started to realise, no, no, it's about the condition. Definitely. As long as the condition is good, yep. visually, like, it's, you know what I mean, you can still see, like, what people were experiencing back yeah. in the day. And you've got uh, stitching as well. That's right. Listen to that. <laughs> N.A. It's got Bilstein uh, suspension, hasn't That's it, right. from, from BMW? Factory, yeah. And a sunroof as well. That's right, sunroof and AC. Yeah. Man is not playing about today. <laughs> I took me to his to his test track. <laughs> but yeah, look, you can hear that engine sound. It's filtered through to even to some of the later, even turbocharged uh, engines. I know it's not quite the same, I get that. Mm. But it's still got that little, you know, Sometimes when you're driving, you just get lost and literally just listening to the engine and the exhaust note, everything. Mm. Never even listen to the radio, yeah. just put your foot down. And that's the other thing, you can't drive this normally, you just have to redline it all the down. way. Yeah, all no, the way. no low down torque, obviously. Yeah. And these seats are electronic as well, look at them. Yeah, on the side. Everything. Yeah, yeah, come on. <laughs> hey, someone was killing it. And that's crazy, so these are around 35 grand new. Mm -hmm. And you're trying to tell me that this is value that, like, maybe around 60, 60 now? 65, yeah, yeah, somewhere there. You get it for a good price? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I can't say, yeah, but no, it, no, it was no. a good price, good considering price, yeah. it just had the uh, engine rebuild, everything mm. like that. So what else you got? So you got two of these. That's right. Um, and then you've got, um, did you say you got another 635? Uh, so we had a 635. So when we bought this uh, about two years ago, Yeah. Had a 635 CSI not not so long after. Okay. And then we got another M635 CSI, which we still have. Right. I'm um, currently actually going to sell it now, but keep this one. This is uh, the keeper. Also got a 8 Series. Had quite a lot of um, E31 840 CI Sports. Mm -hmm. um, very rare ones. Three of them were individuals. Yeah. One had 14,000 miles and it was black with gaucho leather, so like a brown tan color. Such a nice car, man. Never come across any other like that. And you um, were saying off yeah. camera as well, that you started off with like a, a cheaper car yeah, and you've kind right. of just made profit off each car. Yeah, so the, the idea of this was to sort of trade our way up to like a supercar. Mm -hmm. So before me and my dad um, started collecting cars or anything like that, we just wanted to start off with something affordable, 
and then work our way up buy a supercar mm. but along the way we sort of fell in love with classic cars mm. and now the you know plans change and don't really want a supercar as much anymore yeah. prefer the um, classic cars and yeah. build up a collection of them growing up looking at these cars mm -hmm. You always look at you always used to look at them like they were massive, but yeah. I suppose when you compare it to your M6, you have got the Grand Coupe. Yeah, that's this right. This is tiny, isn't it? Yeah, this is tiny. Man. But you can see it out so clearly, like uh, mm. over each corner, all the wings. Uh, like my M4, when you're driving, you everything's hidden. Like <laughs> you got the vents up on this like little ledge as well, man. This is sick. Look at that. You got like Sega Mega Drive dials <laughs> up there. <laughs> What is the green? Is that the, that's not the, um, is that the light? This, Do they go on um, for when so it's warming up? They're for um, services. Okay. So it tells you when you need a service and when it's due and whatnot. Mine's about to jump in the Batmobile, yo. <laughs> Trust me. Hey, this is sick. <laughs> yeah, look, the center console is really low it's down. Proper, everything's faced towards you. Yeah, yeah. So it's awesome. This is when M used to stand for motorsport and not marketing, <laughs> right? Yeah. That's a, that's a good one, man. This feels sick, man. The drive. <laughs> Why does this feel so sick? You're going to have to buy it's one. It's like now. this face yeah. here, isn't it? It's just. Everything looks nice. It looks really modern, man, honestly. This has definitely been designed in a way to, like, you know, future proof it almost. Yeah. Wow, steering is heavy, boy. <laughs> it's a big steering wheel as well. Clutch and the gear stick feels lovely, doesn't it? Yeah, lovely. Goes straight in. Silky smooth, man. So you can buy one of these. You're not going to lose any money, are you? Depending on how much you spent yeah, on it. Because you say some of them have gone yeah. for 100 grand. Yeah. But mm. the values of them, they're obviously going one way, which is up. So, yeah. Um, yeah. It feels very direct, doesn't it? Like, doesn't feel like bulky yeah. or anything. No, no. Not that's a good example. <laughs> you just got to remember, it's a 30 year old car, so, you know. Yeah. And every time I drive it, I sort of put myself into the first owner's shoes yeah. and imagine what it was like back then. I wasn't even born then. Man, I really don't want to hit a mirror because I have your wheels. Yeah, you really got to press, yeah. press the throttle. Yeah, everything feels very analog, doesn't it? Mm. But it's not overly heavy. Like some mm. of these older cars I get into feel very, very weighty. You ain't had to restore this, it was just all... No, I've been um, quite lucky. So it was all very good when I got it. But obviously when I got it, um, I have a detailer. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've got a, You can't help but smile, man. I've got um, a detailer, um, Rob from r and Detailing. I gave it to him. He perfected the car, you know, uh, machine polished it, ceramic coated it, everything. Yeah. So it's just going to hopefully stay like this. You can really feel that road, can't you? You're getting a lot of feedback for the steering wheel. Yeah. Gearbox is honestly lovely, man. <laughs> Screams. Yeah, definitely, man. <laughs> Gotta be just... careful, guys. We're in uh, yeah. unknown territory today. <laughs> 282 horsepower, man. Like back in the day. Like obviously, your M6 has got double the horsepower, yeah, isn't it? Definitely. But, I mean, it does move, though, doesn't it? Yeah. it goes. <laughs> yeah, it feels tight. Getting loads of feedback, man. A lot of feedback. I know what's going on with the wheels. I'm going to like we're on a track. It's just a nice place to be, isn't it? The seats yeah. are comfortable, very supportive, aren't they? And a lot of visibility, man. You know yeah. what I mean? You ain't got these big bloody pillars, have you? Like, you know, uh, the new cars yeah, now. So yeah, everything's it, covered man. up, isn't it? Nice for rev match here, man. Brakes feel good. Yeah. Yeah, guys, we're just we're just driving around the ends right now. I, I don't know where we are. <laughs> but I like it. You know, it's a bit of an effort to drive, though, isn't it? Mm. You know, I mean, for its age, it feels easy to drive. Yeah. But I mean, when you compare it to a modern car, it's definitely a bit of work, man. That's what yeah, you want, isn't it? You want to have to drive. It feels like a, a classic, innit? Definitely. No reverse sensors, no? Nah, no, nothing, man. I'm <laughs> Man's got to buy one of these. Go for it, man. I'll sell you this one. Yeah? <laughs> nah. I'll give you 70. <laughs> yeah, that's too cheap. <laughs> but obviously, like, you buy these cars for investment, right? Yeah. I know you obviously. Mm -hmm passionate about them so you know you get to drive these cars and not lose any money right yeah exactly so it's, you know, it's a win-win so win -win, man exactly it's a hobby that sort of pays for itself Mate, i am joining that gang soon <laughs> man <laughs> aircon or? yeah aircon it's rare to get aircon and a sunroof usually it's either one all engine no exhaust mm. oh you say you got the manifold as well yeah though, 
as soon as you let off the yeah. throttle, it just dies, doesn't it? <laughs> Man, it keeps building power, boy. Legit. Nice amount of weight to that steering, boy. So, maintenance, you mentioned that um, this car's had a lot of money spent on it over its 30 years. Went through the history file, yeah. two huge folders. I worked it out, about 51,000 pound worth of spending wow. in 30 years. Like every invoice has to be minimum four figures. Got the car serviced um, July last year. Yeah. That costs 1,500 pounds. Wow. And you know, ba basic service, but you end up having to buy new parts, like a new steering rack. Yes. Fixing yes. some issues. So always yeah, some small always, niggly always, things. Yeah. Obviously because of that age, right? Yeah. I think these cars are best if you drive them. If you let it sit, sit up for a while, they go wrong. So for example, got the car serviced, mm. drove it um, November, put it away for a couple months, got it out in January and um, things start to seize up. So, yes. you know, um, heater valve um, went wrong, got that replaced again. Mm. And yeah, it's always an endless list, but it's classic car ownership, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Brakes are good, man. Yeah. He's lucky he was about to get smart. <laughs> <laughs> Any day, man. No, I don't care about his, um, yeah. what's he in? Uh, probably a 35D X drive. Yeah, he don't want none of this one, man. <laughs> this car don't even make a noise. Like <laughs> He's may as well hate on that. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, I think he heard. <laughs> Is it what you expected? Um, I think it's way better than I expected. Yeah. Way better than I expected. I mean, the M5, mm -hmm. Sarusha's M5 had uh, upgraded suspension. Mm -hmm. yeah, I yeah, think yeah. it was the KWs, I'm not too sure. Yeah. So when I was pushing this car, it felt you can feel it, really yeah. good. Like, yeah. It feels good as well. So obviously I was thinking, because it's completely stock, that mm. It'd feel a little bit looser, but no, it feels mm. really tight, man. Windows that go down in the back as well, electric. Do they? They go yeah, down? Yeah, they go down. No man. way. Um, We've got to get down. There you go. What? Are you being serious? Yep. Guys, you seen this? So electric windows at the back. That's mad. Like rear quarters all. <laughs> well, look, man, I think I'm going to end the video there. Appreciate the Cheers, invite Ricky. over. Thanks for coming down. Cross off the list. Yeah. Hope, <laughs> hope you like the car, man. Yeah, no, nah, of course, man. Obviously, <laughs> it's like, we're just, it's weird, isn't it? This is what normal reviews are like, yeah, isn't it? You just yeah, drive yeah. around like normal, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I'm just so, used to driving like a hooligan, like, it's <laughs> like the performance, but this ain't one of them cars, yeah, is it? Like, you know, this is a special. collector's car, yeah, man. You know, yeah, you've got to show some respect. <laughs> Put some respect on my name, yeah. man. But yeah, you've also got a Instagram, haven't you? That's you right. want to plug that for anyone yeah, if they so want to um, follow the I've car? I've got an Instagram for the car, the car collections. It's M635 BMW. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if anyone wants to follow it, all the cars are there, you know, it's all, all good. All of them, all of them are good. But, uh, yeah, I'll leave your links in the description. And, uh, yeah, it, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new to the channel, mm -hmm. and I will see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye. Yeah.